Hey there, it's Michelle Densmore with Lucky 13 Fitness in Burlington, Massachusetts. In today's video, I want to talk to you about what I believe is the single most overlooked indicator when it comes to having success, becoming more healthier, losing weight, you know, being more fit and feeling like you're living your most fit and healthy life, living your best self. Now, most people might be guessing, oh, it's a certain exercise that I've been forgetting. Oh, it's something, you know, it's a food tip that I, that I haven't heard before. Um, this one actually has nothing directly to do with what you're eating or what kind of exercise you're doing, but it has something to do with, you know, completely with the opposite might, you might be thinking. And that is one huge indicator of success as it relates to health and fitness is who you hang out with. Who you spend the most time with is going to be a huge predictor of whether or not you're able to stick to the healthy habits that you need to put into place in order to have that fit and healthy life. So what do I mean? If I'm a person, a woman that comes into our studio and I want to lose 25 pounds, maybe not even that much, 10, 15, the number doesn't really matter. It, it applies across all, you know, all walks of life. I want to lose some weight. I want to be more toned. I want to feel a little more confident in the way that I fit in my clothes. I want to be able to wear a bathing suit to the beach and feel good about it. In order to do that, I need to have some prescribed exercise. I need to get into a gym regularly. I need to really adjust my eating habits, making sure that I'm focused on protein and produce and hydrating and all that stuff. I want to minimize my alcohol intake, um, all these things. Now, I may start to do that, but if I continue to hang around a group of people who loves to go to the bar multiple days a week and eat crappy food and drink a ton of booze and they don't like to move their bodies and that's the people that I hang out with all the time, well, I'm not going to be very successful at getting those other things done to get me the life and the body that I want. So this might sound pretty crazy. But take a look at the people you spend the most time with. Take a look at the people whose habits you are around and whose habits you mimic. Um, if you're trying to become more healthy, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to be more fit, start hanging out with people who are either on the journey ahead of you or who are already there where you want to be. This is why we really, really focus and invest on a sense of community at Lucky 13 because people aren't just coming in here for their individual workouts. They're coming in here to meet people, they're coming in here to make friends, and they're coming in here to find people who have the same mindset and the same desire to do what they wanna do. When you don't surround yourself with the right people, you are drastically reducing your chances for success. So take that little nugget and think about it. Assess your life. Who are the people that you spend the most time with, that you hang out with? And are they going to be the right kind of people that are going to support you getting to your health and fitness goals? Or are they going to be the kind of people that might unintentionally, without even realizing it, of you know sabotage your efforts? That's my tip for the day. I hope that it provided you some food for thought. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, I would love if you hit that share button and spread the love. Hit the like button as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Have a great day. See ya.